Froggy Plays Soccer by Jordan London. Froggy Plays Soccer. Froggy couldn't sleep. He looked out the window. The full moon was rising. It looked like a soccer ball. Tomorrow's a big game, he said out loud. If we beat the Wild Wings, we win the City Cup. <gasps> In the morning, Froggy was bursting to go. He pulled on his underwear, zap, tugged on his soccer shorts, zeep, and snapped off his chin guards, snap. Yeah. Next, he wrinkled on his soccer shirt, slim, pulled on his soccer socks, zoop, and put on his cleats, zup, zup. All ready to go. And then, Froggy, called his debt father. Froggy's debt father was the assistant coach. Well, well, what? Let's go, or else we'll be late for the game. Froggy flopped outside. Flop, flop, flop. And remember, said Froggy's dad, only the goalie can catch the ball, and you're not the goalie. Now repeat after me. Head it, boot it, knee it, shoot it, but don't use your hands. And Froggy sang, head it, boot it, knee it, shoot it. But don't use your hands all the way to the soccer field. He sang it all the way with no stopping. At the soccer field, the coach, Max's mother, said, We're a team. We're the dream team. Hooray! They all screamed the dream team. Soon, the game was on. Froggy was doing cartwheels. Froggy was picking daisies. Froggy was picking his nose. The ball bounced off his chest. He gave a mighty kick and missed the ball. On oh, no! But luckily, Max trapped it and passed it to BJ, who slammed it right into the net. Goal! It was one to zero. The Dream Team! Again, the two teams faced off. The whistle blew. The Dream Team charged down the field toward the Wild Wings. Froggy was tying his shoe. Froggy's dad was yelling, Defense! Defense! The ball hit Froggy in the head, bonk, and knocked him down. He was great at defense. At halftime, the dream team held the lead. Now remember, said Froggy's dad, and they all chanted together, Head it, boot it, knee it, shoot it, but don't use your hands. The whistle blew, and the second half started. The flies, a fly circled by. Froggy, called the coach. W -w what Keep your eye on the thomp. The ball smacked him in the eye. Froggy was mad now at himself. The wild wings were stampeding. And Matthew, the dream team goalkeeper, was chasing the ball. Now the goal was unguarded. This was Froggy's chance. He leapfrogged over Travis. He leapfrogged over Matthew. He leapfrogged over the Wild Wings to forward to who was firing the ball. And what a save! Froggy caught it right before the net. But uh-oh, he used his hands. Ha 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 ha! They all laughed. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. He looked so silly, the dream team laughed even more, but not for too long. The penalty for using his hands was a free kick at the goal for the wild things. 
The wild thing stormed, moving forward and kicked and scored. Now it was a tied game. But it wasn't over yet. And when there was one minute left, the crowd went crazy. The cock was ticking. And the ball came right toward Froggy. Froggy! yelled his dad. Whoa, well, well, what? But Froggy knew what to do. He jammed his hands in his armpits. He stuffed them in his pockets. He stuck them in his mouth. Then he power kicked the ball so far down the field that it bounced over the goalie, goalie's head. Smack into the goal! The Dream Team had won the City Cup. They shouted and danced and Froggy sang, Head it, boot it, knee it, and shoot it. But don't use your hands. But one thing, said Froggy, except to slap high fives. Slap, slap, slap. <laughs>